Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trisha and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Is Trisha's dying to know? I am dying to know. Is Carl dying to know today? I think he's already dead. <laughs> well, he is. Look at him. Oh. Doesn't look like there's much life left in the old boy. Nah. Although he's just been and done a running festival. I see that. Gold, Gold Coast. Coast Running Festival. Mm. Go you, Carl. Oh, how ironic. Look at the side of his hat. <laughs> it says it's live in Queensland. Unlike Calvin. Yeah. Anyway, how are you all? Yeah. I hope you're well. Funny. Yeah. Do you mm. appreciate the fact that we've moved around a little bit since the last filming? We I changed thought... our position. Tracy changed her shoulder, <laughs> and I just sat back. Here we are. Anyway, <laughs> we go to a lot of effort for you. I hope you really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. What are we talking about today? Um, today we are talking <gasps> about. Oh, I like this it's topic. From Mandy. I just remembered. It's from Mandy and it's about... Hi, when, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. I was just going to... Go do it again. It's about... It's about when trocars backfire. Oh. That would not be pleasant. So let's start at the beginning. Yep. What's a trocar? Just briefly. We've said it before, but let's just run through it real quick. What's a trocar? What does it do? And why do you use it? Okay. So a trocar is uh, one of the instruments that we use to aspirate the cavity uh, in the body. And um, so you've got bloating, distension, fluid, purge. We need to get rid of the gas in the fluid, so trocar, little incision into the tummy area, the torso, trocar goes in and it, you know, we've got to do all it. It's very pointy and sucky. Yeah. It has a very sharp end. And if you can see, there's a lot of holes and there's a big hole in here. So this is where all of the fluid is going to be um, drawn up through the trocar. And what it does is suck all the gas and fluids out as it's uh, you're doing your job as aspirating through the cavity area. So basically in a more graphic way that Tracy won't say because she's so respectful it breaks up the organs and it breaks up everything that's in that cavity because you just we've got footage of Tracy doing it you sort of make this sort of motion and the pointy bit goes through everything yeah. and then it sucks all that fluid out. So it's it's we're talking about the hydro aspirator because um, there's ones that you can use pumps and different ones but this is a hydro so we got water pumping through in out the water so it's sucking in there's a high force of sucking of because it's pulling all the gas and it's sucking all the um, fluid and everything out of there so so how can it backfire so you've got the pressure of so it's under pressure it's you you turn your tap on for the trocar and that's where that's a hydro trocar used by water so the water's filling and what it's doing is sucking okay but if you get a blockage something caught in it something's Bit of chunky this. stuff yeah um and obviously the pressure's building up so the water i'm a bit confused how does that happen so the the water's um it's pumping through as in it's clean and as you're pulling all the fluid out yeah you're getting all this basically blood and all body kinds of stuff, stuff body yeah. stuff in the water in the air connection part where all this gunk and like all this fluid is going in through a section of the uh, hydro aspirator, which comes into the tube where the water's flowing. Oh, so it flushes it. Uh -huh, so it's oh, clearing okay. it Okay, that flushes the tube. Yeah, so and right. it's clearing round and it helps push it straight into the waste Drainage. area. Yep. To the okay. Drain. So you've got this system that's working right. while it's sucking as well. So you've right. got this suction and the water's clear and clear and clear. And so how can it backfire? Well, the trocar can get blocked because it's it's got a pointy end and it's got little slashes and little holes through which through these little slashes and holes it's sucking in the fluid right and through yeah but you're breaking up the organs like you say so if you've broken up you could have a bit of tissue that's then blocking this very pointy trocar with all your little yep uh en entrance in and because there's a blockage here and you've got the fluid that's already still in there and that water's filling it it starts to the water starts coming towards right the tip of the trocar right and it shouldn't do that and it shouldn't do that right because we don't want to come in that way because now it's not sucking it's now pushing pushing right and uh, when you pull when you move the trocar and you remove it from the body and the, obviously the water's pushing back into the trocar now it's pushing to the tip so as soon as you pull out the whole 
thing just explodes everywhere. So it just starts spitting out whatever's in that tube oh. everywhere. Oh. So backfires. That's right. What it's called backfire. Okay. Yeah. And so it's pushing fluid back into the so body. Has that ever happened to you? It's never happened to me. Never, ever, ever. ever. Never. How do you know it's going to happen or how do you stop it? Or you, how do you listen. Right. Okay, Mandy, this is what you've got to do. You've got to listen. There's a change in the sound of the water in the pumping. Right. And you know as soon as it's going to start building so up. So what do you do? Just turn it off? I just turn the whole thing off. So you just, it's really, it's years of experience because I've been in the place when somebody else has backfired on, you know, and, and, oh. it out and it's gone everywhere. Hence why you're in a full PP and hence why I can't believe that still morticians don't wear a face shield and a mask. Mm. Because when it backfires, Whoa, it goes that's everywhere. Just... Yeah, it goes everywhere. It's just everywhere. Yeah. And you've got to clean everything. You know. Okay, so you hear a noise? So there's a distinct noise as the hydro aspirator is working and it's pushing the water at the point of where the water's coming through and you're pulling everything out with the trocar and it's being pulled into the waste and it's going there. There's a, there's a certain noise you get used to. It's a really loud noise as you aspirate and you go, yeah, yeah. And then suddenly that noise changes altogether and it, you just know that, oh my God, I've got a blockage. And when you, as soon as you hear the noise change, you've got plenty of time to turn it off and once you've turned it off, there's no pressure anyway, so there's nothing going to come out. So take the uh, trocar out of the cavity. And what you need to do with the trocar is then put it down into the, uh, a basin with the water in or a bucket with water in. Put it into the water. Don't have it slightly in or out because... The minute you turn it on, the pressure's there again. Yeah, because what you're going to do is then switch it back on and you're going to switch it really high because you want that blockage to come out. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to force it's it like out. It's like a vacuum cleaner. So basically, yes, but you're forcing it out <coughs> into the <coughs> excuse me into the water so it doesn't spray. If you've got it above the water, it's going to spray. So if you've got it inside, in water, turn it on, let it clear out. It'll go <sighs> clear it all out. You'll see the blockage probably pop out. Um switch it all off because there's a uh, there's a, uh, a valve that you turn to reverse it to clear oh, okay. it right. so you'll okay. reverse it and you'll clear it and you'll put the valve back to its normal uh, position to uh, suck instead of don't pushing. forget to change the valve back yeah put the valve back and so shake it out and then check the end of your trocar always check it check there's no more blockages in them little slits the little holes and there is uh, a tool that you get with your trocar that fits like into these brush. Yeah, yeah and clears anything out so make sure you give it a good clear get it all toothbrush and give the a big you know clean and that's how you will stop any of that um you know Matter. firing back as in the uh, things so listen for the sound stop it take it out put it in the water turn it on the reverse clear your area get it out and then you'll hear that noise will go back to normal so when it happened and you were in the room, what happened? Well, when you quickly turn the aspirator off and you've got to clean everywhere because the spray goes the table, the floor, the walls. And, and it's just bloody, it's watery, just, yucky. It's just dirty uh, fluid, you know, blood and uh, feces and urine and all that kind of stuff that you're pulling Checking out of the out. body, edema, right, and everything, yeah. all that kind of whatever fluid is floating in the torso in the cavity area is what you're pulling out so yeah basically it's you know i've 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 heard it coming and it's never happened to me touch wood thank goodness but i have seen it happen to the people and without any covers on so yeah wear your face mask people in your face shield <laughs> is what i say so yeah Ew. so mandy listen for the sound turn it off immediately and uh just make sure you cover as long as you're covered in your ppe and you have incidents like that, you're going to be fine. Change your gown, change your gloves, change everything. Just take all that dirty stuff off, put it away, get your new fresh PP on, clear up the area, disinfect the area. And off you go again. And then start again. Thanks, That's Trace. Well, wow. problem. The things you do. Yeah, I know. The things she does. I know. All right. Well, that's yep. it for today. All done for today. Is that everything? Yes, I think so. Any till... housekeeping? We need to tell um, anybody anything? Mm, no, I don't think so. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and go and check out our merch. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yeah.
you'll just keep talking. <laughs> yes, that's it. Keep talking. That's it. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye.